Hi everyone, Nefrentium here. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating a new character in Final Fantasy XIV. <clears throat> so I'd be, I played a little bit of the Ora, which are cool, but honestly, as much as they're supposed to be like dragon type characters, it didn't really feel all that super different to me. Um, like the horns are cool and everything, but like they're not that noticeable. At least on the females, like this guy is pretty, pretty different looking. So instead, I'm going to try and I thought about an elf, but elves are kind of boring. Like they're, I don't know, their ears aren't so pointy. They're very tall. But my main character is one of these adorable little Lala fells. So I wanted to make something that would be equally adorable. So I decided on the female Mikote. So here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that usually ends up happening is I want to do, like, the Seekers of the Sun, because it's like, oh, it's so pretty, it's the Nemo that everyone does. And I'll end up going with Keepers of the Moon because then it has, like, the offbeat colors, which is what I almost always end up choosing. Like, I think even my Lala... Oops. Let's get out. No, I want to change... No, okay. Like, even my Lala, when I made her, um, there's a Plains Folk and the Dunes Folk. And I totally went with the Dunes folk. It's just, they're so cute. They have such weird hair colors and it's great. Cause like the Plains folk, if you go with them, um, just to show you, it's like, oh, well, you know, that's cool. And there aren't too many like crazy differences, but if you go, let's go back and choose the Dunes folk. Oops, yes. Uh-huh. Then they just, I don't know, they're just different. They're so cute. So stinking cute. I love Lala's. Maybe I should just make another Lala. Anyway. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the Mikote. And I'll go through both. <laughs> Keep us moving, see? Ah. So I'll start with Secrets of the Sun, and see if I can create an appearance that looks nice. Um, so you're, I think they're pretty short, right? I don't wanna be a short cat best size. Well, that's eh, good enough. Now skin color, this is where usually a bunch of the differences are. So I guess for now, if we're outside a lot, we're going to be pretty tanned. Let's see if we can find a nice tanned color. A tanned? Oh, can't really tell. Cause like that, that's there we go, that looks like a nice beach bronze. So tail, I can have a lion tail, a weird shaggy tail, nub tail, slightly thicker tail, just thin, eh. Standard tail, uh, just, it feels weird how it just ends in a nub, like you'd think it would be a bit more rounded. That's fine. Tail length, of course, maximum tail is going to be going on. But, you know, I, before I go into the hairstyles, let's change the hair color. So, see blue? Oh, blue is pretty cute. Okay, there. That looks nice. Let's go into the hairstyles and see what we have to work with. My pretty little kitty. So you have short bob longer asymmetrical cut. Gosh, this color looks so nice on her. We have a ponytail going on. And this is the one that she started with, which I actually super adore. It's really cute. Headband. Nice little bob as well. So it seems like a lot of these hairstyles actually repeat. Like the um, O-Rod that I made had a lot of the similar hairstyles. It's got little pigtails. Swept back, so this kind of reminds me of uh, Pain from Final Fantasy X-2. Oh, this is my Lala's hair! It's a little Lala fell hairdo! Ah. Okay, this is just short hair, kind of pinned back, out of your face. Here it is when your hair is a little bit more wild and you're like, oh god, what do I do? So you just kind of comb it all back and like stick a hairband on it and hopefully it stays still after applying like tons of hair gel. Here's a different hairband. <laughs> And yet another hairband color. And a fourth hairband color. It's good to know. Um, again, another 
short. So I think one of the NPCs has a similar hairstyle to this. This is just different um, bands. Here we have like a Sephiroth cat front bang situation going on. Oh, no bang bangs, no bangs. Nice curly pigtails with a nice little zigzag in the back. Long flowing hair that will surely get in your face as you try and murder things. So here's this hairstyle, but swept over to the side, you grew it out a little bit, and just kind of like, ah, I'll just stick in a braid because, you know, it's getting in my face and I'm kind of tired of it. Um, ooh, here are the dreads <laughs> that the aura had. And this is just a nice, very, um, makes me think of, like, Sailor Venus a little bit. Sailor Venus hairstyle. We got a little Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon going on. And the short hair. My short bob. It's cute. I love how PC it is. I wish I could actually make my hair look like, like that in real life. So here we have a braid, so this is a very practical hairstyle aside from the bangs. Nice little ponytail going on. Long hair with a slight perm. Long hair with bangs. Short hair, so very short. Just kind of, you know, wash and go, you're good. So, so this is this hairstyle when it grows out. And then when it grows out just a little bit more. Nice little shaggy. So this is if you decided, you know what, I'm going to style my hair in the front and then have a party going on in the back. This, of course, always one of my favorite hairstyles, and again, I wish my hair could do this in real life. I can't. Spoiler alert. And again, a very similar Payne-esque style of hair. This, I actually really like. It's so impractical, it reminds me of this one character from a fighting game, like, back in the PS2 days. And she was a boss, and she had these curly ringlets, and she was just so bizarre, but I loved her little, like, angry cone hair. It's fun. Uh, so you have short hair, so this is just slick back, you know, no effort, just, wa again, wash and go. So here is basically, it looks like, you know, grow that one out a bit, and then just take the remainder throw it in a braid. So again, this is a very practical hairstyle because, you know, just chop off some of the hair and you're, you can see fine. We have the ever so fabulous pompadour that bounces as you go. And a uh, nice little shag. Oh, so we got a little mullet. Aw, kitty mullet. Short hairstyle, so it's in a bun. So you take that mullet, wrap it up, so that way no one can see. Nice little short haircut. Nice mullet. Well, I think the other mullet is nicer. I like the shag around it. This one's just like, hey, by the way, did you see? I have a mullet. This one's just, you know, put it back in a ponytail. Some more short haircuts. This one's cute, too. Super short with some, uh, gosh, what's that called? It's like the, the side of the head art going on. And the last one, which is this one, which is cute, but you know. Uh, let's see. So definitely like that one, but that's like the standard cat, right? So everyone's going to choose the standard cat because it's super cute. You can go with a Lala cat, but the hair looks a little bit too short. You can go with this Lala cat. Or it could be a Sephiroth cat. Sephiroth. Um, let's see. Bang cat? I like being a bang cat. Well, that sounds kind of wrong. Okay, I like this one. This one's like a little bit... I like this one because it's, it's so pretty and it's so full. But this is like the responsible version of this one. So I think I'll go with this one for now. So we'll confirm that hairstyle. What face do we want? This face, that face, normal face. Oh, uh, hmm. So my cat had markings like that one. So had, she had like the the four on the top. This one is five though. And this one seems a lot more cat-like, just because of the angle of the eyes. Um, cat. No, I think I'll stick with this one because I like that it has the markings all around. Alright, what's your jaw situation? You can barely see a difference. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so... It just kind of shrinks her face a little bit, it looks like. Hear that car? Yeah, car. Okay. Yeah, I'll 
we'll go with a slightly smaller face for a cat. No eye shape. Oh, so you can give her like the scary cat eyes. Which are... There we go, scary cat eyes. Iris eyes. Large. Yeah, let's just see small. Small? Large, small. Huh. You know what? I think I actually like small better. Alright. And of course, what color? Well, actually, my cat had kind of weirdy green. Green eyes. Yeah, green eyes. Eyebrows. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I definitely enjoy a thicker brow. And I like the uh, quizzical, like, I expect something from you look of this one. Okay, nose. And her nose seems fine. So let's see from the view here. The ear is slightly upturned, down. That one's cute. It's a tiny nose. I like it. Oh, I feel like she's getting more and more human. Maybe I should actually change the iris size back to large. She looks a bit... How does she look more human now? Alright, whatever. I pull in, two, three, four... Eh! Hmm, maybe it's because our eyebrows are so short now? This here... Oh, they're not really any shorter. Why do you look more human, cat? You're supposed to be a cat. Cat. Okay, maybe... Look more like a cat now. Oh, now the more that I look at it, I feel like this hairstyle is just like... I'm trying to not look like a cat. Maybe we can change this a bit. Give you a darker lip color? It doesn't really seem to be changing anything very much. Okay. Leave you normal facial features. Be a little. No, maybe no forehead thing. A little cut on the nose, be like, oh my god, I got my face stuck in a thing. Yes, little cat tattoos. I like cat tattoos. Fit to colors. I wonder why they were white to begin with. Wouldn't, isn't white very difficult to get as like a tattoo? I mean, like, not that any of these colors are going to be any easier. <gasps> Ooh, what if I get like another green? So it's like I have two sets of eyes that are like staring at you. So you're like, oh my god, which one do I try to stab? Okay, let's go back to the hairstyle because Moss is cute. It doesn't feel very cat like. I want it to be cat. I want to think, I want to see it and think cat. That's what I want. I want to be a cat. Cat, cat, cat. Do you have no bangs? Yeah, I like, I really like having bangs. I almost always have bangs in my normal hair cell. My Lola already has this one. It's a cat. No, because you just be human without ears. Where's a pretty kitty hairstyle? Sailor Moon. I haven't started a job yet. Pump it and cat? No. Ah, oh. These ears are just... Why can't I adjust my ears? I want my ears to be thicker. Should be like... Like, these are ears, right? So they should, they should be like this big. They should go all the way down here. Such tiny little ears. How are you supposed to even see that you're a cat? Is that cat like? Cat? <sighs> I guess none of these really scream cat to me. Can any of them scream cat to you? All of these, it's like if you just kind of put your fingers over the ears, it just looks like a normal human. Kind of disappointing. I wanted her to look really weird. Not weird, but like, yeah, you know, like a cat. 
I want her to be a cat because she's a Mikote. I know that they're largely they're, they're humanoids and everything, which is fine. But why can't you just look like a cat? All right, we'll go with the headband. Headband number one. Um, voice. Firm. Save this here as blue day. Mikoti. I know it's not pronounced Mikoti. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know. When you want your birthday to be cat, let's go with. I don't know. So, oh, I guess you should go second. Astral, yeah. Definitely astral. I'll go. Yeah, sure, 28th. What should you be? What god shall we have as our guardian deity? Wind? Oh, well, it's just like the second moon. Here we go. The third moon. Let's just go with that. Alright. So now let's see. <laughs> She's so startled. Definitely not that one. Not that. Lancer's kind of cool, but. Like, how can you tell any race from any other race? Like, oh, I have a tail. Cool. This archer. Archer's kind of fun. So, white mage. Black mage. And arcanist, which I am already. So, I don't know. Maybe archer could be fun. My ears kind of poke out through my hat. So, a fancy cat. But I think I still look cat-like, right? Like, oh, maybe I should change her hair color a little bit. Hang on. Let's, can I go back to my appearance? Hair color. Okay, go, back, go back in your cat clothes. Cat, look up. Little gray, gray cat. Like a tiny cat. All right, this this looks better. <gasps> I forgot I could put I could give her highlights. Like that basically looks the same. If I put a little bit of white, and it just has a nice little bit of shine. All right, I like it. Yes. So that's... Eh. Yeah, sure. So very cozy. Okay. So that's what she would look like if she's a seeker of the sun. Let's go keep her the moon. And see what the differences are in terms of her appearance. So again, let's... A heighten up. Yeah, see, so you hear like the weird skin colors. You can be like a green cat if you want. <laughs> or a completely like an actually black cat. And their darker skin tones are a bit more robust, which is kind of cool. And their pale ones are like super pale. Like, oh my god, you have not been in the sun ever. Let's go with the pale one. Tail shape is the same. Tail length again. Oops. Just make it long. Hairstyles should generally be the same. There's nothing really that changes between the two uh, races. And the colors should also be relatively the same. I think they just are a bit, like, deeper in color, maybe. But yeah, this is a oh, your clasps. This is a thing. 
Oh, so instead of the tattoos, you get ear clasps. I see. Make them like bright purple. So it's just like so they have little things in their ears. Oh, and their eyes are more human, actually. What the heck? What is this? So this is an odd one where these guys, despite their slightly odd skin tones, I guess maybe the larger pupils is because they're like supposed to be nighttime kitty cats. Yeah, it's basically like the only differences between them. No, I don't want to. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Keepers of the Moon. The nocturnal among the Makoto dub themselves the Keepers of the Moon. Shying from the garish light of day, they, re they revel in the shroud of night, with most offering their piety to men. Fina, the lover, goddess of the moon. They are distinguishable from their diurnal cousins by their darker fur, larger ears. Oh, are they larger? They don't really look larger. Larger ears, rounder eyes, more pronounced canines, and longer, skinnier tails. The ritual application of war paint to the face is still regularly practiced, as it is believed the vivid colors grant lunar powers. After a great many summers of conflict with the people of Grudania, the Keepers have finally made amends with the people of the Sylvan city-state, with some even choosing to make their homes there. Compared to the Seekers of the Sun, uh, their preference for the warm-lighted day pervades all aspects of their culture, so it is apparent in their devout reverence for Azima, the Warden, Keeper of the Sun, and Goddess of Inquiry. They are perhaps known best for their striking eyes, a result of their vertically aligned pupils and faintly colored irises. It is also not uncommon for their eyes to be disparately colored from birth, a trait considered auspicious amongst their kind. Seeker tribes can be found throughout Eorzea with large concentrations appear near Limsa Minsa and the Sagoli Desert. Oh! Mm. Hang on. Are you telling me I can... I can give her a different color eye? <sighs> okay, maybe I'll make this one brighter. Since we're supposed to have light colored eyes, right? Okay, let's see. I like orange. Maybe I should do instead I should do green and orange. No, I think orange should go first. Orange and then green. I guess the face paint color should let us. Oh, right, I don't have any face paint. I have tattoos. Sorry. Um, I think actually. Um, just the brighter eye. There we go. And then, oops, there you go. Look at that. So pretty. The forest got this nice hat shading our eyes. Now we look very cat like. So I think I am pretty happy with this. Eh, no, we're fine. Mm hmm. Class, archer. Yep, we're gonna stay on Siren. Um, my name. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Let's start a new character so you can see the intro for someone other than, you know, who I've always been, which is a beautiful, beautiful arcanist.
That was dramatic. It's nice not having a book for once, though. Alright, but I think I'm actually going to end the episode here because now there's just a lot of text boxes to go through. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was informative, and I will see you in the next video.